Hey guys, welcome back. You know what? We have taken another trip to visit our friends at the Adams Fruit Stand and we picked up some beautiful pear butter or peach butter. This peach is peach butter. butter. We got some beautiful peaches. We got some, those are lemons, isn't, aren't they? I, I don't know. I don't know. They're a cross, cross between breed. them. Yeah, but they're so, big and pretty. They're beautiful. And I know you guys saw this decoration up here last episode too. That came from Adams as well, and it's this big, beautiful bunch of these chili peppers all strung together. It's gorgeous. He brought those back from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and he also brought back hatched chilies that are already oh. peeled, roasted, and frozen. I'm gonna have to go get me some of those later on. They're awesome. So, but today we're gonna focus on peaches. peaches. Last of the season you. peaches. Yes, and these really are the last of the season. I have a feeling this is gonna be the last time we're gonna get any peaches. So. We're going to use them, we're going to make good use of them. And well, you know, the, the weather is getting a little bit cooler, so there'll be more apples, there'll be more pears, there's yep. going to be more uh, pumpkins. Uh, I think he had about 20 different varieties of pumpkins good and squash Lord. when I was up there this week. So it's pretty awesome. So you need to think about taking a trip up there and just having some fun. And if Adams isn't in your area like they are in ours, you can go to your local fruit stand and find out what they've got. So stick around. See, See what, what we're up, up to. to. We are wearing our aprons today because we're going to do a little bit of baking. We're going to use some prepared products to bake with yeah. and make it simple so that nobody can get complicated. Well, and, and to be honest, the prepared products that we're using, there's a reason why we're using them prepared instead of trying to make them on our own. Because in reality, who can make their own puff pastry? Well, yeah, but you, you could. And you could make a pie dough. But we're going to do this the easy way. Yep. And uh, while I'm rolling out the, the, the dough here, I want you to peel those two peaches. Okay. When I developed this recipe, I did it with apples and apple butter. We got the peach butter. We're going to do peach. And um, I made some yesterday and almost didn't have any left. <laughs> you know, that was one of those that it worked. Now, re in reality, these are not sugar-free. Right. And, um, but they're in bites where you're not getting a huge piece of pie loaded with tons of sugar right so in you know keeping this all in perspective most of us that are two years out can pretty well eat just about anything mm -hmm. we just need to keep the idea of eating bites rather than the right. big piece of apple pie and frankly if I made this into a pie it would be calling my name until it was all eaten. Oh, right. I know. Me too. And this way, I have bites. And I can eat a bite or maybe two bites. And I don't feel guilty. Plus, I'm satisfied. That's the key. And, you know, and i got to tell you, one of my husband's absolute most favorite desserts on the planet is peach cobbler. He just loves cobbler in general, but peach is one of his favorites. And so this is a great way that he can have that flavor without having the entire peach cobbler staring at us. Yeah. And saying, you know, eat me. Eat and the me. kids can take one of these in their hand or carry a couple of them in their lunch. Mm -hmm. And they're not getting that much of anything. Well, and you know, and it's not, it's not a perfect solution because there is a whole lot of sugar. But, you know, in reality, if you have a kid that's not going to eat a whole lot of fruit, you know, try doing something like this where you put it into a little, you know, kind of a dessert thing. And it's a, you know, you get at least some fruit in them. Well, and... The thing is, we can't. I can't eat a lot of fruit at one setting. It, mm -hmm. You know, it just doesn't work for my stomach. And I don't know. There may be other people out there that they're the same way. Yeah, I it can't eat. I can't eat a whole piece of fruit if I'm not dependent on it. Now I'm scooting around here, and I'm going to kind of be off camera a little bit. But I've got to roll out both sheets of this uh, crust. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, when I laid out, lay it out, it is scored. Um, oh yeah. Where it, it, it whoops, that is not working. It would well make for me. three sheets, but we're making one big one. Then we're going to cut it into the sections, and I'm basically going to use a ravioli uh, method of making oh, these, okay. so that it's simple and keep it, 
you know, keeping it simple is what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Making it so simple that um, the novice can do this. And what I'm doing with these peaches is I'm just cutting them in half, and then to get this little pit out, it's a little hard sometimes, I'm just kind of quartering them, and that also makes it a little easier to, yeah. to um, peel, but you can just quarter them and pull it apart, and then you can just peel that, pop that thing right out. And it, Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Then we're gonna, when she gets those chopped up into fairly small cubes, okay. we're going to um, add a cup of the peach butter to the peaches. It already has all the, the sweetening in it. It has the seasonings in it. Um, you could add a drop of nutmeg or allspice if you want to, but I didn't think it really needed it. Um, there again, keep it simple. Mm -hmm. So the simpler we make it, the easier it is to duplicate. And this works with apple and apple butter. We're using peaches and peach butter. I've seen pear butter, so you can do pears and pear butter. Well, the apples were absolutely, totally off the planet. They mm -hmm. were so good. And I'm, a, I'm an apple, I love apples. Mm -hmm. See, I'm gonna cut this into three pieces like this. And you can be a perfectionist if you want to. My husband has to <laughs> make sure everything's the same Just width. Just so. And, and I go, it's all going down the same place. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> so, and uh, okay, and so this is kind of stretchy too, so. Yeah. We want these in small cubes, right? Is what you said? Yes. Not tiny, but. How's that? About that oh, it's a little bit bigger than this, fine. Okay. You don't have to do that much chopping. Okay. So. And let me get you a bowl to put those in. Awesome. Should be one right under there. There is. A little bigger than we really need, but it'll do. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay. It's fine. I'll do a little garbage. Oh, thank disposal. you. Thank you, thank you. All right. You know what? I think while we're chopping these, I think we can take a little break. Yes. And when we come back, we're going to show you how to add the rest of the stuff and put it together. So we'll be right back. All right, our peaches are all chopped up, so I am going to put these into this beautiful peach butter. And then we're just going to stir it around till everything's covered. Mm -hmm. Now, our peach butter is made with sugar. Um, if you have a sugar sensitivity, if you can't tolerate it, um, just look for one that's sugar-free. There, there are some on the market. There are some. This just happened to be something I had on hand. And when I first tried it, I used um, apple butter. I like to get sugar-free if I can, but, mm -hmm. you know, we do live in the boondocks, so it's kind of hard. That's why it's easier just to eat a small amount rather than eating a Yeah, that's a true. All right, that so, is okay. good to go. What we're going to do is we're going to take a spoon, and I don't know if you've ever filled ravioli. Mm, I have. I've played with okay. before. We're going to put, like, there's enough room there for two, two little, or three? yeah, okay. two or three like that. While you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and beat this egg for the egg wash. Yep, we need that. And then after we've done this for a few minutes, we'll, right, I'm gonna reach around you. we'll make sure we have them kind of equally uh, proportioned. Some may stick together and have more in one spot than another. Oh, were we going to use this uh, lemon for anything? Um, we needed a little bit of lemon in here. <laughs> hey. You'll add the lemon when you make yours. <laughs> we'll put it in the recipe. It's not an absolute have to It's thing. optional for there, sure. There's a lot of options in this place, so. Most of what we do is optional sometimes. <laughs> we play with our food till sometimes we forget what we're doing, so. Yeah, that happens, so. You want to get a spoon and help me so sure. we can get this to go a little bit faster? Sure. You moved right in my way. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'll go the other direction then. Um, playing musical chairs here. Beautiful whatever. So we only put like two, two, two little or bits? three, two or three little bits, okay. and then when we finish, we're going to go back and we're going to fill in to make sure we use up everything because this dough is stretchy and it will give us a little uh, give Oops. that we can, you know. So it's you don't have to be too precise. That's the good thing. I told you I wasn't a precise mm -hmm. person. I, I was raised by. 
a grandmother during the summers that cooked for hordes of people. And I learned to get the food cooked and out. Not necessarily beautiful, but it tasted great. And uh, nowadays, uh, I think too much is put on the beauty of food and not mm -hmm. the, you know. And, and that's where we get caught up in it as um, uh, weight loss patients because we get carried away with how good it looks. And instead of we worrying eat. about fueling our bodies, we're worried about eating pretty and yeah or saying oh that looks good and then eating more than we eating should eating more than we should so sometimes we need to go back and think what did they do back even 50 60 years ago they ate to fuel their bodies and uh, when when we got television sets to tell us things look better this way or that way or in a box then we ran into trouble yeah and I thoroughly believe had we eaten fresh food, Do we want to just, just you just dab them in okay. what's left. Yes. Okay. Now, if you do happen to have leftover filling, can you will it freeze? Or? You could, but why if you can squeeze it in here? Yeah. <laughs> um, Good you can. Point. You could eat it just like it is. I mean, mm -hmm. if you ever macerate um, um, fruit. Basically, all you're doing is putting a little sugar on it, so, you know, Here we go. and letting it set. So yeah. you could let that set, and it would macerate beautifully. Okay, now watch what I do with this dough. Okay. See how I can just ease it out just like you would a piece of pizza dough? Do we need any egg wash on this Not half? Not yet. Or, okay. Not yet. I'm going to line it up here. I'm going to spread it out. Okay. Now then look here. <laughs> That's cool. And here. So fun. And here. We like to say play with your food. Now we're really getting to play we're with really our food. We're really playing with our food. Okay. This is just the way you would do um, ravioli. And then after you cut it into pieces, and if they may overflow a little bit when mm -hmm. they bake. That's okay. That's okay because it'll caramelize and oh, it will. So now I want you to take that fork. Okay. And I want you to crimp around every edge. All right. And uh, I'll work on the next two. And then we're going to put the egg wash on, put them in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you need to be watching them because uh, uh, it, it starts to get darker brown. And if you don't mind the dark brown, you're fine if you want them light brown. But I, I did it at 400 because it's fast. Mm -hmm. You could do it at 350. It just takes, it takes a, little a little longer. longer. And okay, so. Where's that pastry brush? I'm going to show them real quick how to egg wash one, and then I think we'll take a break while we do the rest of these. So. Get these in the oven, yes. Okay, doing an egg wash is super easy. You dip your pastry brush in your egg. And you're just going to brush it over the top of your little pies. And there we go. All right, I'm going to pop that onto the pan. And we're going to finish these up and get them in the oven. And we'll be right back to show you what they look like. See you in a minute. And by the magic of television, voila. And <laughs> I'm going to try one. They're so good. Mm, 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 mm. Mm-hmm. They're really good. The and you peach. can almost add more mm -hmm. to the center if you wanted to. You really could. Well, they did bubble out a little. Mm-hmm. Mm. They're really good. Hot, cold, breakfast, lunch, dinner. dinner anything. Snack. <laughs> All right. It's just the right amount. Mm-hmm. It is. So. It is. It's a little bite. And they're perfect. And they're so cute, too, because they really do look just like little ravioli. <laughs> Don't they? They really do. Just look like a little ravioli. They're adorable. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us. We hope that you'll try this and that you'll think outside the box. This also works great with just about any fruit that you have in season. Oh, and you can also use phyllo dough with this if you'd prefer. It's a little more involved because you have to kind of lay out layers of phyllo dough before you, you know, so whatever. Yeah. <laughs> we'll show you that another time, I'm sure. All right. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to get in touch with us, all of our links are right down there in the description. So be sure you click that little more button and you'll see where to find us. And don't forget to check out our website, www.number7bytes.com. And that will have all a double seven bytes show.com. I'm always forgetting the show for some reason. Okay. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Anyway, just go visit our website. We've got all the recipes and all the videos and blog posts and everything that you need right there in one place. So thanks for joining us. Check us out. Don't forget to come back next time and see, see what, what we're, we're up, up to, to next. <laughs> Bye.